What's up, everybody? In my video today, I'm going to be reviewing systems of equations. I'm going to show you guys how to graph, but specifically how to shade systems of inequalities. So when we start off in our first problem, we know that when we're plotting in y-intercept form, we start off with the y-intercept. So that means we're going to be right here at negative 4. And my rise over run, my slope is 2. So I know I'm going to go up 2 and over 1 for my slope. So once we do that, our new dot should be right here where you see me putting this blue dot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a line through both of these points so that we can have our line. So we drew our line, and guys, remember, when we're talking about systems of inequalities, right, we also have to shade. So this says that y is less than 2x minus 4. So what this means is that the shaded area should be under this line. And I'm just drawing the arrows so that when we draw our other line, we could kind of compare and see where they intersect. So now we're going to go to the next one. And our next inequality is a negative one. So we're going to start off by plotting the y-intercept. And this y-intercept is also going to be a negative one. So we start off at negative one. Now from here, our rise over 1 is 1 over 5. So that means I'm going to want to go up 1 and then over 5. 3, 4, and 5. So my next point should be somewhere right here that you guys see me put in that second point. And we're going to delete this blue line. Let's get it up out of the way. And now we're going to draw a line through both those points. And let's see what the system is going to look like. All right, so I drew my line now, and now we need to start thinking, okay, where do we shade for this problem? So it tells us that y is greater, right, greater than. So when we have greater than, guys, that means we're shading above the line. And what I'm looking for when I'm shading is where these two sections meet and both of them are satisfied. So what I'm going to do right now So I switched to another color and what we're going to do right now is highlight the direction of shading. So when we look over here Right, when we circle that first group, that only satisfies one of the inequalities, so we know that that's not the region we want to shade. When we look at the second set of arrows for our first line, this only satisfies one set of the equations, inequalities. But when we look at this part right here, right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle both these arrows. We notice that it's satisfying both of those inequalities. If you look at it, guys, you'll notice that they're intersecting, and this is what we want. Because that section right there, that is the solution set to the system of equations, right? That's the shaded region we were looking for. So if we were shading in this graph, we would shade only this part right here because this is the only part that satisfies both of these sections compared to the other two where it's only satisfying one of the systems of inequalities. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, we're going to ask that you smash the like button for us, subscribe to our channel, and leave any comments for future videos you guys would like to see. And remember. When we're talking about systems of equations, guys, key thing to remember, plot one that line at a time and draw your arrows in the direction you're supposed to shade. And two, remember the shaded region, the answer that we're looking for 
is that shaded part that satisfies both the equations or the inequalities. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today.